The citizens have every right to speak on each item. My name is George Blakemore, and I have many names. Some of them call me a concerned citizen. And at this moment, appointing an a, a ultimate, and, and the election is going to come up in February. Some people call me a gag fly. You the problem, the media the problem, I'm the problem. And some people call me a Sir, I'm talking to you. You are a public servant, and yes. you're supposed to serve the public. And what do you call yourself? I call myself, uh, uh, Mr. Blakemore. George Blakemore is a classic Chicago character. He comes from the streets, he knows the streets, and he speaks for the streets. He's always been the person who's spoken for the voiceless, the person in, who's not at City Hall. He sees himself as a representative of the citizens who are not in the room and who maybe don't understand government as well as he does. He understands government better than probably 90% of the Chicago City Council. What is this mess of resolution uh, of them? He was, there was no election. He can read budgets, he can read policies, he can read legislation. You can't just talk about George Blakemore and say he's, he's a city council fixture, he's a government fixture. We are inviting all our citizens to come to water reclamation. City side, the county side, the water reclamation district, anywhere where public participation is allowed, the concerned citizen is there speaking for the people, pushing for goods, contracts, and jobs, particularly for black Chicagoans. So oftentimes in governmental meetings, there is no one here to advocate for the citizenry, or anybody for that matter. George is here, so he's been a constant voice. He's basically our 51st alderman here. All is not well at water reclamation. He came from the South. He was a teacher and he came up here because I think he wanted to teach at CPS and he did for a few years. I came at the end of the Great Migration in 1907. I left Oklahoma City and I decided to come up to Chicago. But then I think he decided he had had enough of the bureaucracy and he wanted to get out into the streets. He became a street vendor. But then he went into city council during the daily years, the Rahm Emanuel years and beyond. Uh, and he was always there asking the tough questions. I was trained as a political scientist and, and I have a degree in history and government. I have to be there because if I feel like when I'm not present, uh, nobody else will say the things that only I can say. No way in the world they should have these meetings at the same time. I'm so no holds barred. He's assertive, he's aggressive, he's loud. He demands to be heard, and he's gonna keep on talking, he's gonna keep on asking and demanding until he gets an answer. To me, he seems like a very intelligent man. He's very well-versed. We supposed to start at one. There's no excuse for that. They had enough days to set this up where one went overlap. Sometimes they have two and three at the same date and at the same time. That's to keep me quiet. I'm public enemy number one. I'm the only, look, look, nobody's me. Uh, sometimes he's a little kooky. Uh, only George could get away with some of the things he says, you know. Let, most people don't take him serious. If you, if you were in city council and you were, instead of being behind us, in front of us, you'd see people looking, smiling, shaking their heads and putting their hands in their face and saying they can't believe he said that or did that. Is something inherently wrong with you and all of you and all of you to let them do that? They work for you! Some people love the fact that he cares so much about government. Other people roll their eyes, but you can't uh, ignore him. That's one thing, you cannot ignore George Blakemore. Look at that, and these colors. He's an artist. Uh, he's somebody that's always out in the community. It's, 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 it's therapy for me. After I leave City Hall, I'm, I'm so frustrated. So I take my frustration out in my artwork. That's my therapy. This artwork is my therapy. And when I walk down the street, I'm dressed up in all these colorful, oh, we like this. And these jackets can be used not only to wear, put them on a mannequin as a piece of art. Here in my city hall office, where I think it's most fitting, 
Uh, I have a wall dedicated to George Blakemore's art and, uh, and fashion. I have the jacket and I actually have two portraits that are made of the same colors and color scheme as the coat. They asked Frederick Douglass in 1895 or 96, what would you tell a, a black person to agitate, agitate, agitate? George Blakemore is unafraid to speak out on behalf of Chicagoans. He's not there to make friends. He's not there to uh, curry favor. He's not there to be with the elites. He's there to ask the tough questions and be a rabble rouser for regular folks. We all are somebody, every one of us. We came close to losing George uh, about a year or so ago. He got really sick. And we were thankful that he not only pulled through, but he pulled through with a vengeance. The one thing George has done over these eight decades is inspire people to stand up. And there's a whole new younger generation that is learning who George Blakemore is, what a concerned citizen is, and what it means to stand up. Now, when y'all gonna finish this video, cause maybe I can make a sale.